So this video is going to show you how to take a Blackboard quiz. Uh, the way that you would, uh, first of all, start doing that is go onto Blackboard and then select the class of mine that you want to take a quiz for. Um, in this case, I'm using History 380 as an example, but this example will work for any um, of my classes. And somewhere I'm in the Blackboard fold, uh, web page for that class is going to be a folder marked quizzes or something like that, maybe marked Blackboard quizzes, something. There will be something with the word quiz in it, so it will be easy to identify. Right, so you, if you were to click then that quiz folder that the arrow is pointing to, you would see the following. And once you click that, you should uh, have a quiz that you can click on, right? There you can say it says Reading Quiz 1, History 380, 2018. Yours will probably say something else, and you'll want to check, check the schedule to make sure you are taking the correct quiz. Usually I only have quizzes appear one at a time, making it impossible to choose the incorrect quiz, but sometimes there, there might be multiple quizzes to take. Just double check the schedule to make sure you're taking the right one. And if you were to click on the, that quiz, this is what you would see. Uh, you would have this screen that tells you how long the you have to take the quiz. It says this test has a limit of five minutes. Uh, usually my quizzes are five minutes. As a general rule, I give a minute per question. That's plenty of time um, to be able to answer a question. Um, and then it says that, uh, this test will save and submit automatically when the time expires. So when you run out of time, it's going to just submit on its own. Um, notice, and this is usually how I do it, it has forced completion. That means once you start it, this test has to be completed in one city and you can't leave and then and then come back to it. So you want to make sure you're really ready, you've got a stable internet connection, and once you do, um, as it says here, you can, can click begin, and you'll see that in the lower right hand corner. You click on that, and that will allow you to take the quiz. If you say, oh, I'm not really ready to take it at this point, um, oops, I accidentally clicked on this link, you just hit the cancel, and you're all good. So I feel like I'm ready to take that quiz, so I went on ahead and hit the begin um, button, and once I do that, then this is what appears. And if you look at this, uh, you can see I've added several arrows to, um, to help guide you. But if you look at that top arrow, it says remaining time, 4 minutes, 30 seconds. That's going to continuously count down and remind you how much time you have on the quiz. If you look at the arrow below it, you can see where I have selected an answer, right? You can see there it says question one. It says which of the following is not one of the three distinct identifiable approaches to public history. And uh, I've selected research-led projects. Um, and you can see I've just clicked on it. Now I have kind of two options. Um, I can Let's say I, I want to go ahead and save my answer, but I want to stay on this page and think a bit more. Um, on the right side where there's an arrow pointing up, you can see the Save Answer button. You can push that button. It will save your answer, and you can stay on that page and think a bit. However, um, if you were to click, um, if you look at the bottom right, there's another arrow, and you can see um, it says Question 1 of 5, and then there's these two little arrow buttons that point right. If you click on... Uh, the, the little single arrow button on the right, uh, um, that's pointing to the right rather, that will just advance you to question two. And note it says moving to another question will save this response. So as long as you respond before you move, you will have a response listed. So uh, you're good to go then. And so you just repeat this throughout. You, you go ahead and go through and answer all five questions. And then when you're ready, you click Save and Submit. And you can see the arrow pointing to that. Do not click that until you are ready. Um, because once you do, then your quiz will be submitted. You can still, uh, typically in my quizzes, I allow backtracking. So you, if you've got some time left, I've got 3 minutes and 19 seconds here. Um, I could go back and, and you know double check my answers. Um, if this is an open note quiz, and my quizzes generally are open notes, uh, you know it makes sense, okay, now I can go back and kind of check my answers a bit. But uh, let's say I'm ready, I'm going to click on that Save and Submit button. And having done so, um, I have done that uh, and submitted it. And now it says, okay, yep, your test is saved and submitted. This is the uh, date on which you did it. This is the time on which you did it. Now click OK to review results. And um, clicking on that, it looks like I didn't do as well as I would have liked. Oh my goodness, you know, the, I can look at these five questions and it will tell me which ones I got wrong and which ones I got right. Um, on question one, oh, I missed that, got zero out of four. Question four, I missed that, got zero out of four. But I got the other questions correct. So, uh, and I did purposely miss some questions uh, because I wanted you to see what that looked like. At the top, it tells me my attempt score. I got 12 out of 20 total. It tells when I started, submitted, all that good stuff. Um, and it also tells me how much time elapsed. You know, I took that quiz a little fast, and this would have, was an example of an open note quiz. 
maybe um, if I would have taken better notes or if I would have taken my time while taking uh, the quiz to look things up, maybe I would have gotten a better grade, right? And that's one thing um, I really want to emphasize is that if you are taking a class with mine that's open notes, you want to make sure you use those notes uh, to look these, to check these answers. Um, one thing I should also stress is that um, you should usually review your notes a little bit before you take the quiz, you know, just flip through them quickly. Um, you know, in this case, I should have looked over my notes for this article that this quiz was based on. If it's like a, a Blackboard quiz on course content, flip through the notes you took in class and then take the quiz, right? Look over briefly, just to, even a couple minutes can be helpful um, and help you on the quiz. But that's pretty much it. That's how you take a Blackboard quiz. That's how you check your grade. Um, if you're kind of like, geez, you know, I don't understand why I missed this question. Feel free to email me. Um, feel free to come by my office and I'll be happy to go over your quiz with you and, and help give you some tips or help you understand why you missed those particular uh, questions.